You man one of the part two, so here it is, man. Let's react to this shit. Kick, being a more tolerant streaming platform for viewers and creators, blew up this year with their mission, major mm -hmm. signings, and homegrown creators on the platform. Amen. One of those being Neon, a toxic online personality that rose to fame with his trash oh, talking antics. I know he does it on purpose to spike reactions out and shit, but this has to be one of the most jarring brothers I've ever seen in my life. Nah, like, I don't even like hating on this because I feel like it doesn't get you nowhere. Like, just let them do what they need to do. But for some reason, every time I look at this brother, every time I look at his face, it just piss, like something inside of me just wants to chef him. And I'm not talking about my wood. Eventually took them into the real world with his IRL streams. And as you would have guessed, this got him into several predicaments, including arguing with this woman. Don't do the camera, I really do the reality TV. Arguing with his girlfriend. Just change the subject. Like, you know how to do it. I don't. Stop being awkward for once in your fucking life. Her voice as well is the most jarring voice I've heard in my life. Oh my God. Sometimes I forget she's a woman. It's crazy. She just pisses me off with both of them. Both of them power couple just run around pissing niggas off him. To it with a bunch of other TikTokers at a party with Sneeko by his side. What's your name? I don't know who's in class. Search me up. 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 Right, Try, 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 Red, bottoms grey as well. First 10 orders will be refunded. Simple as that, you know what I'm saying? Everyone stay safe. Give your Marge a kiss for me, innit? I was trolling. I was trolling. We're good, we're good, bro. We're good. I wanna hear say something too. Alright, hey, alright, we're good, we're good. My bad, bro. What a pussy. And you know what? What a pussy. After talking all that shit. Nigga like me, I'm still on that on that 2016 thing. Chat shit get banged. You know what I'm saying? Chat shit. Who remembers that? Let me know in the comments if you remember chat shit get banged. Nah, this guy's a pussy. This is why I don't like While him, we man. have Sneeko here, he himself also had another tense moment with the fitness YouTuber Bradley Martin. With that being when Sneeko had went over to Bradley's gym and thought that it would be a good idea to troll him by smoking it up in there, only to find out that Bradley wasn't having any of it. Yo, I'm not kidding though. I'll smash your f***ing camera right now. Nah, I'm not playing. I'm gonna smash your I'll smash what the f just happened? What happened? Bro actually, bro grabbed it and the camera disintegrated time. It started going through his memories, bro. The camera's life flashed before his eyes. <laughs> what the f Cigarette. I don't like cigarettes in my fucking gym, period. You do that shit again? Stream of a cigarette? I'm gonna period. end this. I'll smash this damn camera right in front of your face. You don't do that. You do that shit again. I swear to God. I swear to God, bro. You're disrespecting me by smoking in my fucking gym. I mean, I'm not kidding, bro. Nothing smells bad in here. I don't give a f like, it's a funny game for a minute, and yeah. then it's not funny. There's I don't no, like there's, that. There's no game. We're just talking. You gonna back me up or what? I'm not part of it. It's just so stressful. I need to smoke out. Yeah, man. Go I... smoke outside. But now, going yeah, back to Neon again, outside, some of his idiot. most confrontational hey. moments came out of the newly renowned kick streamer Fousey, a... who Fousey himself had already gained notoriety this year for streaming his life 24-7, and inevitably getting into arguments with various people at random times, like security guards. <laughs> Or what? What? You put your hands on me, let me sue your Got the best lawyers in the game, cousin! Okay, cousin! Okay, wait, okay. Okay. Job. Drunk women. Okay, Fuzzy. <laughs> Whoa! Yo, don't ever put your fing hands on me again. Shut if I can't up. touch a female, don't put your fing hands on me ever again. Other drivers? Oh! What the f was that all about? I don't know where the it was i was driving sit the f down so sir. was i I'm not even trying to have a what? bad day i'm, I'm not keep... either then why are you getting loud what do you mean why you're am I four foot loud? six with short arms you can't do anything so stop getting four loud with me six. That's, yes that's good yes viewers <laughs> that's <laughs> good <laughs> yeah that this foozy tells me i'm four six i'm sticking four inches of cock up in you know what let me take that back let me take that back because he might actually like that so let me take that one back. I'm so sorry. I I had a, a relapsation. No, no. Uh, drama. No. This is gonna go viral for you either way. But this interview's over. Have a good really? day. No. Somebody leave me. Look what's happening right now. This guy's trying to go oh, viral. Oh, off everybody head. stop. Hey, Get everybody stop. Oh, <laughs> Security. And look of course, at now being the about. online troll, Neon in real life. Can I have a real fucking conversation with you for five minutes? I'm trying, but you're a psychopath. Don't call me a dumb then. That's how I talk, bro. Sit the f down. No. What? Why the f did you end the stream and not raid me? I didn't know you wanted to raid me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I thought it was going to be some serious topic. My man said, why did you end the stream and not raid me? All right, man. Come on, guys. Chat. Chat. Come on, chat. <laughs> yo, 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 is he yo, yo. gay? Say sorry. Oh, is he gay? Nah, he is gay. The two will link up again in another session with Aiden, where Neon went on to get his yo, get shout back out. on a little bit. Yo, shout out Convy, man. Shout out Convy. Neon. Oh, what is it? Block five. You're 35. Get a grip of your life, man. Holy. Hey, hey, hey. hey. I'm not going to punch you. I dare you. I dare you. Let me get one back. Go ahead. What the f is that? Jesus. That was poor. Yeah. What the f? No, bro. And then the infamous day of August 22nd came up, where first in the afternoon, Neon went over to Fuzzy's house and continued to do his trolling. Oh, this is Fuzzy's Fousey house. Still didn't like. You're gonna get your ass beat when a real one comes up to you. Stay away from the day. You think you're perfect. You're not. You're far from perfect. You <laughs> yeah, I can't lie. You I'll be real. That that nigga Neon deserves every slap that he gets from Fuzzy too. I feel like Fuzzy's the only nigga who's trying to put him in his place. I respect that. Now. I respect that. I respect that. I think I'm perfect. You're in my house. Okay. Respect me. If you don't want to get the out, I don't need you. They became chill with each other though, as they had a Why big mission. Why is he always got that value? They were going to go to YouTuber Jack Doherty's house to confront the Island Boys oh, about their this recent is so decisions. Gay. But when Fuzzy Chad, pulled up to the so house gay. and saw the extravagant so sports cars these... sitting in Jack's so driveway, gay. followed with a huge house, something in Fuzzy just had him disrespecting the 19-year-old Jack throughout the stream. What kind of content Jack. do you do? Prank challenges, stuff like that. Your pranks are fake. Dude. You're trying to build your business on the lie. Fuck your Lamborghini. Fuck your McLaren. Dude, you're you're so, so hold on. He said to Neon, "You're in my house. Respect me." And then the same stream, he goes to this guy's house and he disrespects him. Like, I just don't understand the way people like people's brains in America work. Like, you lot all donuts or something. You lot just love contradicting yourself. In fact, I've probably done that five times this video. So let me just. Yeah, you think you're the man because of this chain? You're four foot six, dog. You're short. And you're ugly. And you're he's not the same. Carlo Reynolds. He's the same. He's okay. It gets to a point where if you call a brother four six, yeah, why is he the same height as you? Chat. What the fuck? You're not Bryce Hall. You're a piece of. <laughs> I spit on the ground. Bro, you there's no on. way you're real, bro. I did that. And this whole hostility will become physical when, after Neon had finished doing a round of boxing against one of the Island Boys. No, the Island Boy is tiny. Fuzzy will call out everyone watching, and well, so Jack's gay. way of approaching him would set Fuzzy off. Y'all gonna stare here in my platform? Y'all are all betas. Cheers. Yeah, I think this guy's fing beta. <laughs> beta say. Yo, you're a. I can't lie. In the nigga's house is crazy. This is probably all a skit, all fake in it, just so they can whatever. But in the nigga's house, that ugh, doing that to a nigga in his house is is ridiculous behavior. I can't lie. From a grown man as well, that's crazy. You didn't have his kick money yet, yo. You're fing. I'm baby. Imagine being 33 years old I'm and fuck yo, give me some water bottles, Sean. Give me some. Fing. You're lucky yo. I made friends with your security. We're going back. Dog and now we can't box. There's a whole. Oh. 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 I slapped the that dog shit out of you. That didn't even hurt. I slapped the dog shit out of you. You're a sad life. Yeah, but who the f does what? that? I've never seen anyone as out of control as you. Because I'm protected by God, you run by the Nah, devil. bro. I made you my son. Get the f out. Let's go. Why are we still here with this? Now, the night wouldn't end there, as when food. Again? Bro, is Fousey just doesn't stop! Fousey got to his hotel room. There was someone else trying to sabotage his stream by getting him swatted, but Fousey, in response to that, would essentially swat himself to get the police over to him to protect them. But when authorities arrived, Fousey had grown frustrated over everything and then went off on them. Who is this guy? I don't know. How do you want us to look for him if you don't know where he is? I have his address! What is his address? I said grab my security 20 minutes ago! Okay, at that point, it's like... Is. I can't My life lie. is in danger and you arrest him. He is dumb as fuck. No, 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 Fuzzy. They are dumb as fuck. But it's like, bro, why are you screaming at niggas with guns? Like, I don't get it. Like, you think me, if I see a brother with a gun, I'm going to scream at him? No, I'm going to be as polite as possible. The Palestinian Muslim who's viral. Are y'all dumb or are you stupid? Just arrested the most famous man in America. 
Yes. The most My famous man in America. You arrested the wrong dude, dog. I'm worth seventy-seven million dollars. It don't matter. You put arrested on. Evaluation. You arrested me. You didn't believe me. You walked out of the room. I have it on video. Seventy thousand people yeah. saw it. Fousey eventually got released after about a couple yeah. of months, and is reportedly set to sign his kick contract and come back to streaming on the platform soon. So now, with some of the most popular kick streamers being covered there, with Neon and Fousey, it's time we talk about the biggest creator on the platform that spearheaded the whole Game kick boy. movement in 2023. Aiden Ross. Aiden, also from time to time did some IRL streams and one of the or pretty much the only one that became the most hostile out of these was when he brought on the charismatic but controversial figure Charleston White <laughs> along why does it I swear to anyone who brings my man on, there's always some satin going on with this this guy. You know what I'm saying? He's always doing satin outrageous. I swear to With him and his friend group. At first, <laughs> everything was going great between everybody. But when one of Aiden's friends, Prime, jumped uh, into a conversation that they oh were having, yeah. they got into a heated interaction with each other live on stream. You came and jumped in. No you, you ain't gonna do nothing. What you gonna do here? What you gonna do here? What you gonna do? You gonna get your knife? I don't get your knife. I know what you do. He booked me to come here, not you. He booked me to. I don't give a quit making the scene and go to the room. Sir, go to the room, sir. Now, that wasn't the only time that Prime had gotten himself into a predicament, as when he went over to Jack's house in the following month. Well, first, he slapped Jack Doherty here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I told you. You're 25. Oh, fuck. Here. He said, oh, I told you. You're 25. Yeah. Yeah. Why the fuck you hit like that? You want to fuck you hit like that? Who's that? Hey, I'm not playing. Stop, 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 stop. What's up? What's up? What's up? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Well, you going to go to jail, jail, boy. You know why you're here? Don't smack you, that you, shit. Yeah, get Do it again. Do it again. You act hard when no one. We don't want cops. Let's do it official. But that house also had the controversial first thing. It's like a shot up, bro. In it, and Prime took this opportunity to confront uh, him on his usage of the N-word. I say I'm that all the time. I don't say hard on. No one can tell me anything. No one can tell me anything. No one can tell me anything. John! 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 Security, come here! Gay ass nigga. Say it, say it real quick. Say it. Look at the height difference. Say it. Say it real quick. Be ready. Say it. No. Say it. Say it then. I'm not afraid. Say it. The two eventually went on to box Did it out in the ring, it? where Zerka was declared the winner, and Zerka, with the high of the win, took his trash talking ability. Oh, this was this is the fool. That was the fool of Zerka right there. Cause that nigga Zerka would talk so much shit, and everyone's fucking with him. And like, okay, he can back it up. You know what I'm saying? He got dropped by HS Tiki Toki, bruv. Oh, bro, I love HS Tiki Toki, bro. He's up becoming kick streamer HS oh. in the following months, but things did not play out well. Do you remember when, when, when Mr. HS Tiki Toki, when he make the videos of him going abroad and picking up girls and all that shit? You trying to hold this wood? I was about to drop game on you. Where you going? <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, let me get your number, darling. Erka has when he tried to fight his chest in public, he got dropped uh, multiple times, and I would show the clips of that here. But YouTube would easily take down this video on the algo, like how exactly. HS did to Zerka. But yep. that was a moment that occurred, and some other moments of that magnitude where YouTube. Yeah, if you might like, want to see that, go follow me on Instagram. Here, that we'll just go over real quick. Also occurred throughout various kick streams, like when Convy slapped one of the island boys. Bro, don't touch me, bro. Hey, don't touch me, or what? Bro, what? Bro, what? Oh, oh my God! <laughs> what? Jack getting into nah, it with the other boys. What? 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 And Jack's bodyguard knocking out this guy that was defending. Oh Karina yeah, this shit was this was. Boom. Oh no, you stop, stop. And now to end off this portion of the video yeah. talking about kick, we're gonna yeah. go back to the main it's man himself, Aiden there. Ross. I have no words for that one. I don't even want to say that in controversial, aren't it? T-shirts, along with his boys that were doing the same. But to the zoo, seeing as Aiden was banned from Twitch, it was no surprise to see that the oversensitive purple platform would decide to remove the kick streamer from the premises. For what? Five seconds. Wow, bro. Eddie. This is bad, man. It's still W kick. Let me switch your selfies. Uh, we're taking sure, over. Can you tell me what I did? Just don't touch me, bro. Which is what though? He doesn't even know. 
doesn't even know what the... Hold on, Citrus, 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 no, 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 Citrus, there's cops, bro, there's cops. Citrus, just give it. I gave, I gave my lander, I gave it to him. And finally, for the last couple okay. of clips here, these didn't Formal necessarily footage take place year. in the year 2023, but footage had release of them this year, and I think that they were interesting enough to put on here. So, the first clip of these two has to do with KSI, as when he had a documentary come out of him on Amazon, it was seen that one of the talking points of the dog was of him and his relationship with his family as a kid, where when he was questioned about his parents' sometimes tough and unshown love, KSI got emotional after pondering a question about it. So, um, what do you think their, their version of loving you is? Uh, I uh, <laughs> Why is he crying? Uh, I, I, I don't. I say for me, it's just like physical touch because I, I never really got it from my parents. Regarding KSI's what? mom, they were always cool with each other. But with his ah. dad, both the father and son found some closure as they went on to hug it out in the dock. And now, finally, for the last. And KSI's a. B Why do people like talking about their family matters and in, in private matters for the whole world to see on a podcast? Yo, just because there's a microphone and a camera on a table or on a couch or on a bed yeah it doesn't mean you have to blur out all your private information you know what i'm saying sometimes you keep it shh sometimes you keep it shh you know what I'm saying? This moment here, this one comes to us from the Nelk Voices Full Send podcast, where one of their guests was the comedian Andrew Scholes. This podcast episode was a long lost one from November of 2022, and it was due to the awkward interactions that were seen between the co-host Steiny and Andrew himself. But after eight months of it sitting on the burner, and then finally having all parties agree to it being released after demand from the fans, the episode came out and it was easy to see how things got so tense in it after Steiny got called out for being on his phone. I think we lost him. <laughs> Not my fault. What oh. bothers you the most right now? Nothing. Nothing bothers you? You look at your phone while we're doing this interview <laughs> and everybody's seeming disinterested. Me taking time out of my day to do this and then feeling Dude, like I've I'm never forcing been... you guys to do the podcast. Are you guys friends with each other? Yeah. Like genuinely? Why, you don't get that vibe? Yeah. No. Why not? Because the chemistry is weird. There's I... almost none of it. I feel what? like you came at me a little bit there because I feel like you got pissed off at me. Well, that's what happens when you have real reactions when you're being phony. I do sense that you're playing a bit of a character. I don't uh, have as much of a talk. I don't give a fuck about this, man. If you man enjoyed the video, let me know if you want a part three.